This is a story about an unusual company. A company which every day serves other businesses and all households in an area with more than 80,000 residents and 10,000 businesses. A company, the modern production methods and technology of which are subject to the most strict health and safety and environmental regulations. A company, the products and services of which are a benefit to society. This is the story of Reino Sud. Reino Sud is a waste management company. We are responsible for the administration, planning, handling and treatment of waste materials in a large area of East Jutland and we consider ourselves experts in the efficient handling of waste. We are responsible for the collection of domestic refuse from all households in our area. Refuse collection is handled by our subcontractors, whilst our own staff handles the collection of waste paper for recycling. At 60 different locations in our service area, we have established collection stations, where citizens can deposit sorted paper and glass bottle waste. We operate eight recycling centres where private citizens and businesses can deliver sorted waste for recycling, material retrieval or incineration. Certain types of dangerous waste may be delivered here for subsequent environmentally responsible disposal or treatment by Reino Su. Reino Su offers advice to businesses about reducing waste production and how waste materials can best be sorted and handled in an environmentally safe manner, often with economic benefits for the company. Reduction of waste, reuse and recycling are the first priorities at Reino Su. Most of the waste that is not suitable for recycling or reuse is handled at our incineration facility in Scannabor. Besides ensuring an environmentally controlled incineration, the process also converts waste into energy in the form of electricity and district heating. Some waste material is buried, either at our landfill facility near Scannabor or in landfills or underground facilities in other countries that specialise in the handling of dangerous waste. So rubbish is not simply rubbish. There are enormous benefits for society when waste materials are sorted, so that materials which may be reused or recycled are separated, and that which must be disposed of is handled safely and responsibly. And that's our business here at Reino Su. <laughs> Our society produces a lot of waste. Every time we buy anything, there are waste materials, packaging, bottles, printed matter, or simply leftovers that we didn't use. And all this gets thrown away. And we throw things out like never before. Not just scraps from the kitchen, but also consumer goods, such as furniture, clothes, electronic devices and household appliances that may be worn out or simply out of fashion. When we rebuild or decorate our homes, we produce a lot of waste, just as tending to our garden also results in large quantities of organic waste. But private households are not the only producers of waste. Business and industry make a major contribution. Almost every manufacturing process results in the production of waste or unwanted byproducts. Besides manufacturing industries, other businesses such as offices and restaurants also produce waste. There was a time when rubbish was simply something that had to be disposed of, out of sight, out of mind. Huge landfills, often disused gravel pits, were for decades filled with all types of waste. Forty years ago, most of Denmark's household refuse was disposed of in landfills. With the increase in living standards during recent decades, the amount of waste has increased in proportion to our consumption. Globalisation has also played its part in that more businesses and private households buy more imported goods, resulting in more packaging and more waste. We have learnt by our mistakes. We have seen that the space available for new landfills is limited and that the landfill approach is a bad solution, environmentally and economically. Here in Denmark we have also recognised that rubbish may be valuable for most categories of waste, it is a fact that someone, somewhere, can use that which we regard as worthless trash. Industries that produce large quantities of homogenous waste, 
for example plastics and metals, today have good opportunities to sell their waste products at a profit. Some industrial waste or byproducts are valuable, and recycling makes sense, because the waste material is usually easy to sort and separate. But domestic refuse from households and businesses usually comprises many different types of waste, which all too often end up in the same dustbin or container. It is here that the greatest challenge of waste management is to be found, because different waste materials require different strategies and processes. When these materials are mixed together, the task of managing the waste can seem almost insurmountable. However, efficient waste management is far from impossible. Denmark is at the forefront of waste management. We have learned that over 90% of our waste, from both industry and private households, can be reused, recycled, or disposed of in a way which is beneficial to our society and responsible towards our environment. This is the story of how Reino Su harvests the wealth of waste. That which we no longer need, we throw away. It's rubbish. That's far from the whole story. Just because we don't need a certain thing doesn't necessarily mean that it's rubbish. Here at Reino Sioux, we prefer to say that waste is an often valuable resource that just happens to be in the wrong place, in the wrong concentration, and at the wrong time. The collection and disposal of waste demands considerable resources and costs money. Therefore, it is important that we should ask whether our waste should be waste, and if so, how we should best process it. Denmark has an official policy on the treatment of waste, based on the so-called waste pyramid. This inverted pyramid illustrates the priorities of national policy, addressing the problem of waste from the top downwards. The first approach is to ask ourselves how waste can be minimised. For instance, by reducing the use of unnecessary packaging materials and printed matter, or by using containers that can be reused for other purposes. It is here, at the top of our waste pyramid, that the greatest benefits for society are to be found, just as it is here that the individual citizen has the greatest chance of contributing to a national reduction in waste production. Here at Reino Soup, we offer advice about waste minimization to all our private and industrial customers. The next logical approach is recycling, where a waste product or material can be collected and used again for the same purpose. The Danish bottle deposit system is a good example of recycling. And throughout Denmark, many second-hand shops ensure that usable items do not go to waste. Recycling is something that everyone can do. For instance, by taking a used carrier bag to the supermarket instead of using a new one. Some waste may not be suitable for recycling, but that still doesn't mean that it is worthless. Many products are made from materials that may be reclaimed and reused. Plastic products are a good example. Here at Reino Sioux, we collect and sort plastic containers and other reusable plastics. The sorted materials are compressed and baled to reduce transport costs and are used in the manufacture of new plastic products. Reusable waste is sorted at our recycling centres and we cooperate with local industry in the collection of larger quantities of homogeneous waste materials. This truckload of used plastic drums from a cable factory will be compressed and baled and sold to a plastics factory for reuse. Paper and cardboard are also reusable waste products. We compress and bale cardboard, and several times each week, trucks arrive to take paper and cardboard to factories where it will be used again to make new paper and board products.
If a waste product cannot be minimised, recycled or reused, then incineration is often the best approach. Incineration is particularly important for handling household refuse. Even when households and businesses sort and separate all waste materials that can be composted, recycled or reused, there is still a lot of refuse that needs incineration. The incineration facility in Scannabor operates 24 hours a day. The furnaces are designed to work at high temperatures so that the incineration process is both efficient and environmentally safe. Incineration is a complicated industrial process that is subject to stringent requirements concerning the cleaning of the flue gases and the treatment and disposal of byproducts such as bottom ash and residues from the flue gas cleaning process. Incineration adds considerable value to the rubbish. Heat from the furnaces is used to generate electricity and to provide energy for the local district heating system. We have come a long way in the 40 years since most of our waste was dumped and buried underground. With today's efficient recycling, reuse and incineration, disposal in a landfill remains the only viable solution for less than 7% of our waste. The Reino Sud philosophy for the handling of waste is based on many different strategies and processes. As waste arrives at each of our facilities, we apply specific solutions and technologies for each category of waste. The majority of our 80,000 customers each have many different waste disposal requirements, so they will meet Reino Sud in different ways. Through our subcontractors, we visit every household and most small businesses in our area once a week. The collection of domestic refuse is a cornerstone of public health in Denmark. Regular collection minimises the risk of serious refuse-related infection. Household refuse collection is a public service, paid for by all householders as part of their municipal property tax. Every increase in retail consumption particularly of heavily packaged goods, brings with it a growth in the amount of refuse to be collected. We can all help to improve the refuse collection system by sorting our waste, by using organic waste to make compost, and by not filling our dustbins and refuse containers with cumbersome items that are easier to process if delivered directly to one of our recycling centres. To lighten the load of refuse collection and to achieve optimal separation of recyclable waste paper, all households and businesses in our area are provided with a separate container for paper products, such as newspapers and printed advertising matter. Reino Sue's own vehicles and employees handle the collection of waste paper on a regular basis. At over 60 locations in our service area, we have established collection stations where citizens can deposit waste paper and glass bottles for recycling. The idea is simple. By encouraging citizens to sort glass and paper waste, we reduce the amount of these materials that otherwise would be incinerated along with household refuse. The success of this initiative is completely dependent on those who use it sorting the waste properly and putting it in the correct container. The eight recycling centres in the Reynosu region have become popular with the public. This is a well-designed recycling centre with plenty of space to park and unload. The waste containers are parked below ground level to make it easier for the public to deliver waste. And for added safety, the access area for trucks that deliver and collect the containers is separate from the public area. Centres such as this represent the ultimate in efficient recycling. Visitors sort and deliver their rubbish into separate containers, one for each category of waste, so that each container may be collected and its contents processed without the need for further sorting. Our recycling centres are manned by experienced employees 
who can also assist with the safe delivery of hazardous waste such as car batteries, small batteries, paint and toxic or poisonous chemicals. Hazardous waste can come from both private households and industry. The term hazardous waste covers a wide range of products, chemicals and materials that are either unsuitable or too dangerous for incineration or disposal in a landfill site. Hazardous waste can often only be recycled, reused or disposed of with the aid of specialised processes in a safe and controlled working environment. Waste sump oil from motor vehicles is a typical example. The recycling centre has a chemical depot where waste sump oil may be delivered. The depot is specially designed to prevent soil or sewer pollution in the event of a spill. Waste oil is collected by specialist companies and is reused in the manufacture of new oil products. All of the Reno Sioux recycling centres have special containers and suitable equipment for handling hazardous waste and the company is able to provide expert advice about dealing with hazardous waste. The handling of industrial waste is a complex business that demands expertise because many waste products require special processing. However, industrial waste is often easier to handle than domestic refuse because waste from industry usually comprises large quantities of homogenous material. For industries that deliver waste materials and byproducts for recycling or reuse, there is a clear incentive to sort the waste efficiently. Waste materials that are well sorted achieve the highest prices from the recycling industry. Reno Sud offers advice about sorting methods for different waste products and can assist in finding a market for most industrial waste. Reno Sud operates a waste facility in Scorop near Scanabor, once a municipal landfill where all rubbish was buried with little consideration of alternative disposal methods. This is today a controlled landfill site where all waste materials are closely inspected and monitored. The landfill is subject to stringent regulations about which waste materials may be accepted here and what provisions must be made for each category of waste and the area where it will be deposited. All waste materials that are unsuitable for this facility are shipped to specialist facilities in neighbouring countries. Unsuitable waste includes materials that can be recycled, reused or incinerated, as well as hazardous materials such as chemicals which could pose a threat to the local environment. Modern landfills such as this are built over a waterproof membrane with drains to catch the rain and surface water that filters through the waste. The entire facility is subject to strict environmental inspections that include regular analysis of the waste water before it is sent to a water treatment facility. Unlike the rubbish dumps of yesteryear, all waste arriving at a modern landfill is weighed and its location logged to ensure that both the company and the local community have an overview of the subsurface here in the future. Out of sight, but still in mind. Only part of this waste facility is a landfill. Large areas are used for the temporary storage and processing of many waste materials. Large quantities of waste timber and lumber are stored here before being sold for the manufacture of chipboard products. When the incineration facility's silo has limited capacity, Combustible waste materials are also stored here. This is a facility for the handling of masonry, brick and concrete waste that is crushed on a regular basis and sold as foundation aggregate for building and road construction. The bottom ash from the incineration facility is also stored here for a few months to allow the chemical compounds time to react with the air and to stabilise. The bottom ash is periodically ventilated and any residual metals are removed before the stabilised product is sold as foundation material. This facility is also a staging post for much of the waste that is delivered to the recycling centres. The sorted waste is stored here until it is sold to recycling facilities, often in other countries. The recycling centres receive large quantities of garden waste. Here it is shredded and stacked in windrows, where it is regularly turned and aired. The resulting product, after eight or nine months, is a high-quality garden compost that the public can collect free of charge at any of our recycling centres. 
For a reasonable transport fee, a full truckload can be delivered directly to the householder's garden. Waste management companies face a unique challenge and have a vital responsibility. We are the custodians of the community's waste, and we must guide it carefully and safely through many complex processes. Though we have no influence on the quantity, quality or composition of our raw material. The efficient collection and responsible processing of waste requires training, expertise and experience, combined with a commitment not only from all our employees, but also from every resident in the communities that we serve. Reynosu is a modern, full-service waste management company. Our expertise and abilities comprise much more than the tangible technology of waste management that most outsiders associate with our business. Our employees are specialists in their field, with an experience and an insight that is vital for the political, strategic and practical planning of waste management in our service region. Throughout the year, the refuse trucks visit homes and businesses in the community. The recycling centres receive a wealth of waste. And homes and offices in Scannamore enjoy an environmentally friendly energy supply as a by-product from our incineration facility. Behind the scenes, our staff continue to work on new ideas and plans that will ensure our continued ability to manage waste efficiently and responsibly according to the needs of the time. And to do this, we must continue to watch which way the wind blows. Thank you.